It is time for the package from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, Wicked Family, we are going to talk about this gaming keyboard for my friends from China. Yes, it's time for the package from China again. Because this time I bought something for myself. And the reason why? Because I just needed a new keyboard. I did look around in my country and I was looking at keyboards thinking, hmm, I'm not going to spend 150, 200 euro on a keyboard. Better said, I don't have the money. So I needed to find a budget way and maybe it can also be a very good thing for you if you're searching for a budget way or a new great keyboard. Looking at Aliexpress, I noticed something. Mechanical keyboards are pretty damn cheap nowadays. I did make a review about the mechanical feel. Yeah, basically it's a fake mechanical keyboard and I must say it was not bad at all. And also I did review quite some time ago about the Motospeed, it was more like the premium brand from China, mechanical keys, very clicky, I love the keyboard, used it for a very long time, but now I just wanted to do something totally different. So I came across this Aula keyboard, mechanical keyboard. This version, what I think is very important, I want to have the numpad, or in other words, I just want to have the keys at the right side of the keyboard. You have the compact version, so you don't need, if you don't want to have this, you want to have a very compact, very small keyboard. All right, so when opening up the package, what we can see is already the keyboard. And what I've noticed that it's a very compact box for a very huge keyboard. At the bottom, we are finding the attachment I really love about it. Keep in mind, when you're ordering, not all the keyboards have this. So keep in mind, when you're ordering this keyboard, that you're ordering the right one. So just wanted to point it out. All right, so we have in here the manual and all the other stuff, even little card says, or they are requesting, please give a feedback. So this is what you're going to get, USB connection, and uh, yeah, let's do a little view of the keyboard and let's play some games. All right, so the keyboard is plugged in and I'm going to show you how this works. As you can see, this is little button over here is a light up. So this means we are in the program mode. Pressing this, you can see you can swap through the patterns. You have a lot of different versions. This is one of my favorite one. When pressing the keys, you can see they light up. But there's something else that is also very nice and very unique. You have the three micro buttons over here. When pressing them, you can see you can choose the buttons you want to get light up and you can just program them. All right, when you have chosen the layout, you hold this button and that's it. It's just basic a scrolling wheel and the same goes for when you're going back. What is also very cool, you can even adjust the brightness of the buttons. That is something very convenient if you don't like this very bright LEDs beneath your keys. So if you look at the angle for the keyboard, it's pretty similar to every keyboard I have seen. So when you're using the little feet over here and you lift it up, you can see the angle is getting way more. And overall not bad at all. Right, let's do the ultimate test. Yes, and this is how it sounds. The blue keys versus the black keys. Can you hear the difference between the two keyboards? Alright, so the keyboard has a very nice touch to it. Because of the difference in the keys are beneath it or the switches, it doesn't make any noise now. Or not a lot of noise, let's put it this way. <laughs> the keys are very responsive. And I just basically killed myself now. Very nice.
It's a very long time I played this game. All right, so I bought this keyboard for myself just to see here what you're going to get and show you uh, what are we going to get for, let's say, 30 euros. So I can tell you, for the money, we can't complain the thing that I'm always saying. I like the touch. Compared with this, this is the fake mechanical feel and this is the real mechanical deal. I would say that these are, for the price, exactly similar. And maybe you're already owning this mechanical feel keyboard. So if you look at all the specifications, they're exactly the same, the layout, you name it, everything is the same. It's more the question, what do you prefer? Do you prefer a keyboard, mechanical feel, old school, or you want to have something like this? Again, you can also choose other keys. So if you just want to have different keys, you want to have the blue one, the extremely clicky one, yeah, you can do this. So this is what you're going to get. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. For now, thanks for watching and see you next time.